Hey guys, so I'm just adding this quick edit here. Some people were informing me that they were having some issues with the CIFS mount. So I'm gonna show you how to use NFS as well. That should take care of some permission errors, you know, an ABC error or, you know, mounting a root directory error. Any of those errors that you're having, we'll use NFS, that'll kind of take care of it because that's more likely than not is a user ID permission error. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna enable NFS. On QNAP, very easy. All you gotta do is open up the control panel. You'll click on shared folders. We'll select the uh, folder that we want to turn it on, uh, turn NFS on, and we'll just hit edit shared folder permission. And we'll select this dropdown of NFS host access. I'll make sure that I'm on the folder that I want to turn NFS on. We'll check this box. Now down here, this just shows you what IP addresses are whitelisted. So the asterisk means everything. We don't want that. We want to limit it to uh, the one specific IP address that I'm using. You can also use a subnet. So the, the dot three, four is the virtual machine. I could put zero slash two, four in there, and then that'll list everything on the subnet, you know, the 192.168.1.0. But for now, we're just, we'll just keep it to the one specific IP. Um, over to the read only uh, section, you just wanna make sure that you have read slash write enabled. And you can keep this squash no users the same, or it's set as default. All that really does is just a QNAP setting it's the default option. It doesn't transfer the client root role. So when you're accessing stuff, you have user IDs that are assigned to like, you know, all your users or, you know, whatever accounts that you create. Now, when you're using different systems, those user IDs might be different. Some, you know, the main one may be a thousand or a thousand and one. This just kind of resolves all those conflicts as well as it gets rid of, you know, if somebody was using the root access ID of zero. So that way, in case the file was written or, you know, edited, things like that, by removing that user ID of zero, it creates any permission errors when, say, you actually log into the NAS and then try to edit the folder or anything like that because the permission set to zero, as a root user, you wouldn't be able to do anything with it. So this just kind of takes care of that and it, and it uses like an anonymous identity. So once that's done, we'll just hit apply, uh, hit close. Now we'll go back into Portainer and it's as simple as just adding another volume here and then choosing the NFS. So I'll just give this a label of this, uh, media two. We'll set my IP address for the IP address of the NAS uh, that's hosting the files. Now I have NFS four on the NAS. If your system doesn't, you may have to just change this to NFS, but I can keep NFS four enabled. We'll use the mount point is the path to where I'm, you know, the slash media that houses all the TV shows, movies, downloads, everything like that. All the options here, you can keep the same and we'll just hit create volume. Now that's up and running and that's inside. Now, same thing. And we'll just, anytime we're mounting something where we want to point it to this folder, we'll just use the um, the volume mount. We'll, we'll select it. We'll use, you know, media two. That's good to go. Now I'll show you another route where we can actually mount the folder directly in, in Ubuntu. So if we go over to uh, terminal session, the first thing that we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to want to create a directory. So I'm gonna just open up my files here. We'll go to locations, we'll look at the root folder. Now, typically people mount stuff in like the MNT folder, but what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna create a folder um, and we're just gonna label it NFS with media inside of it. So we're gonna enter sudo, well, let's make this nice and big for everyone to see. So sudo uh, mkdir and then the directory. So in this case, we'll do, first we need NFS, Hit enter, and then we'll do NFS slash media with a capital F and hit enter. Now, if we go back into the files and we, let's just go back and then back again and refresh this. Okay, so there's my NFS folder. Here's my media folder. Perfect, so that's good to go. We'll head back over to the commands and now we need to download um, the actual NFS client. So to do that, you're gonna just type in uh, sudo apt install nfs dash common and then hit enter now that'll run perfect wait for that to finish looks good okay now we want to mount that uh folder on the nas inside ubuntu or you know as as this is acting as the host to do that we'll use the command sudo mount uh, we need the IP address of the main instance where we're pulling the folder from. So in that case, it's my 
168.1.36, that's the IP address of the NAS, not Ubuntu, and then we'll use uh, colon, and then the name of the folder. So in this case, it's my media folder. Uh, then we need the path of where we want the mount to point to. So in this case, we created that NFS folder, and we created that media folder inside of it. So if I hit enter, perfect. Now if I were to go to the file now, and then let's refresh this folder, now I have all my files that are on the main NAS accessible inside of here. So that's good to go. So now how, I, how would I do that inside of this in terms of accessing that folder? I wouldn't do anything here in the volume. It would just be the same as if we were mounting something uh, down here at the bottom. So the same way that we did like our data folder with Portainer, again, we're not using this. I'm just showing you as, as an example. Let's say I wanted to mount that media folder inside. I would use now slash NFS, because again, we're on my host system, slash media. So now that's saying, okay, I have this folder here, this NFS slash media, and I want to mount it as like a media. The same thing, way, the same exact way we did with the container folder. Now I'm just mounting the media folder, so that's good to go. Now the uh, one thing if we use that NFS mount command in, in Ubuntu, what happens is every time we restart uh, the Ubuntu instance or shut that anything that we're gonna have to remount that every single time so there's a way to auto mount that every time um, the computer starts up or Ubuntu starts up so to do that we're gonna head back over to the terminal session and we're going to enter um, sudo nano and then uh, e oh, excuse me slash etc slash f stab and hit enter. Now we're gonna add on the bottom of this, we're gonna use this, um, we're gonna use this long command. So we're gonna actually type in 192, the IP address of our host NAS that has the file that we wanna mount. So 192, in this case, 192.168.1.36 colon slash media, because that's the folder that I want mounted. We're gonna use the path that we want it mounted to. So in this case, NFS slash media. And then we're gonna add a couple settings here. So I'll go over this very slowly. So you wanna type in NFS space auto comma no fail comma uh, no a time comma no lock comma INTR, comma TCP, comma AC time Z O equals 1800 space zero space zero. Now to save this, there's a couple commands on here. This is just uh, to save it, we're gonna hit control X and we're gonna keep uh, the file, so we're hitting it yes, and we want to keep the file name the same. So to do that, we just hit enter. Now that will save that. Now if I were to restart Ubuntu, and we'll fast forward here. So that file now, if we go back into my computer, and we open up the NFS, and we open up media, there it is. Now that Again, we restart it, it's automatically mounted, it's part of that code, so now you don't have to worry about it. Every time the computer starts, updates, restart, anything, power outages, we'll always have that mount folder there. So we'll be okay using that uh, command, uh, you know, if we did like the slash NFS slash media as a, uh, as a bind instead of the actual volume.